Hey guys, Michael Straight Fitness. Hope you're doing awesome. I just got a question yesterday in the email. I always lose 15 pounds, but I always hit a wall and plateau no matter what I do. This is a big question, and I know a lot of you have done the same thing where you got on a proper routine, you lost weight, and then you plateaued. And with a plateau, maybe you didn't really plateau, it just slowed down, right? If you get on a proper routine, you start eating right, you start exercising, then you're going to lose more weight than you are fat. Now, everybody watching this video, everybody watching this video probably wants to lose weight, right? Most Americans wanna lose weight. You're telling yourself you wanna lose weight, but in reality, you don't wanna lose weight, you wanna lose fat. Because if I snap my fingers and you lose all your fat, you're gonna look amazing with no clothes on. Now, if you're losing 15 pounds right off the bat, then that is not just fat. It could also be a little bit of muscle, that's okay, but it's mostly inflammation and water because you went from eating bad to eating better, so your body's releasing everything and the inflammation is going away. Just by the choices of your food, you're eating less ingredients, you're getting more single ingredient foods in, your body's gonna respond very well to that. Not only that, if you cut your sugars or cut your carbs, you already know your sugars and your carbs, they get stored in your liver right here as glycogen, and glycogen is mostly water weight. So when you cut carbs, you will always lose five, 10, maybe even up to 15 pounds of water right away over a short period of time. As you lose weight, as you lose fat, it's gonna taper off and that's only normal. And your last five, 10 pounds are always gonna be the hardest. So that's one. My question to you back is, did you really hit a plateau? Now my other question to you is, again, did you really hit a plateau or did you make too radical of a lifestyle change where you went from Olive Garden and chimichangas and nachos all the way to kale salad and chicken and broccoli? Ugh. And then you made that too big of a change and you taught, told yourself you simply cannot sustain this for the rest of your life. And then you were seeing some results, but the weight loss slowed down, and then you went, boom, right back to the chimichangas. The art of weight loss, really fat loss, is to eat as much as you possibly can. Any trainer, any online fitness coach, any gym can tell you to simply just starve yourself, eat 1200 calories, and yeah, you're gonna lose weight in the short term. And if you post pictures on social media, you will get all the likes and the k mosas and all that, but you will ruin your metabolism and you will yo-yo right back up because it's not sustainable and you're shutting down, like I said in my previous video, all your non-essential functions. So you're gonna be moody, grumpy, you're gonna lack of sleep, you're gonna get bags under your eyes, you're gonna need more makeup. Really, you're just biting yourself in the butt. If you wanna lose some fat, cut a little bit, and then fill all those calories in with nutrient-dense calories. Now the art is to stay a little bit below that. Have a small deficit, and only do that once in your life, and then once you hit that proper weight, body fat percentage, whatever you wanna do, or you just feel like you look great, then all you have to do is just add a little bit more calories and you're maintaining and your metabolism will never crash. Stop worrying about plateaus, guys. You're probably not hitting them anyway. The only time you really hit a plateau is if you do something for a year straight, strict, no cheating, consistently. So I hope this helps, guys. If it did, if it made sense, hit like and all that, share. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. I hope you're having an awesome, what is it, Tuesday? Go enjoy the weather and I'll see you guys later.